here we are inside of the computer with the photo selected and the first thing that I want to do is mess around with the color uh, with my camera profile and we're just going to see which one gives us the best separation and I think the one that I want to use is probably going to be the standard. I'm going to go ahead and hit AI Auto because I want to get going as fast as possible. And this brings the tones out quite nicely on the bird, but it also brings the tones out in this quite busy background. So the first thing or the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the C, the letter C on my keyboard, bringing up my crop tool. And I want to crop in to get rid of some of this distraction around the bird. Part of making something stand out in the image is by focusing the eye of the viewer to pay attention to the thing that you want them to see. So I'm just going to pull this crop in somewhere like so. I don't think you need a PowerPoint uh, with a photo like this because you have a red bird and is the only thing that has a vibrant color uh, against this background. So. I'm not overly concerned about putting him perfectly on the PowerPoint. I want to put him somewhere uh, along this this point, just so that way, you know, it, it makes him look a little bit more dominant in the photo, but it doesn't have to be like smack dab centered or even putting it onto the eye or anything crazy like that. All right. So I think something like this works. Definitely keeping this upper third horizontal going through his eye uh, that just gives a good separation for the photo you can even bring it down so then he's taking up a uh, real estate on the upper third of the photo and on the middle third of the photo and then you just have this bottom space that we can deal with so lots of opportunity for cropping and composing the image uh, as long as you get rid of all that extra distraction. So we'll just go ahead and apply that crop. And now you can see we're kind of zoomed in and you're kind of forced to look right at this bird. His eyes looking at you, you're looking at him. Uh, you see each other. Now, what I need to do is separate the background from the bird. So that way the background is darker and the bird still stays bright. The way I'm going to do that is come over to effects, hit add filter, and then go with an a tone enhancer. I'm going to make an exposure adjustment inside of the tone enhancer. I'm going to click on the mask because I just want to go ahead and see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so once I hit the mask, then I can come up here to the AI quick mask. I'm going to use AI quick mask because I want this to be a quick edit, right? It's the name of the series, so it's got to be uh, somewhat quick. Now, everything that I want to keep, I need to paint. So I want to keep the background. So I am going to paint green all the way around the background. You could do this the opposite way where you keep it on the bird and then you can invert the mask. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep everything in the background um, and paint around the bird not getting perfect uh, and then I'll make this a little bit larger and come all the way around here and I think on one has enough information to figure out that I'm just trying to keep the bird or I'm sorry that I'm trying to keep the background and not get the bird. Hit Shift X, and then we'll just go ahead and cut the bird out of the picture here. We'll get down on his tail, making my brush smaller so I can come straight down here and capture his tail and make it a little bit larger. We'll get this area here and his beak. Okay. And 
think that's good. Let's go ahead and hit apply and see what on one thinks about that. So on one did a few things and we can refine this. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit done. So it will apply. And now I'm just going to pull down on the exposure and see just how bad this is. You can see I'm separating from the bird uh, or the background from the bird. And I have some issues with my mask. So I'm just going to uh, paint out and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to paint out these areas with my refinement tools. Oh, I'm sorry, paint in. I'm on the, I want to paint that back in uh, because I want those areas. You can see it's now a little bit darker there and paint in here. And if I hit O, you can see I'm getting a, a more refined mask. Now, you're probably going to have to go over this a few times. I don't want to make this video too long, but because this is a quick edit and I think that's going to be good for today's uh, purposes. So now that I've made the background just a little bit darker and I can even feather my selection so that way it blends a little bit better. But the goal here is just to separate the background from the foreground and we'll even open up some of the shadows to allow for, you know, that nice warm tone to come through. Okay. So now the bird is a little bit more prominent in the frame. Uh, we'll copy this mask by clicking on the mask, hit copy. And then we're going to do a color enhancer on the bird. We're going to paste this mask and then we're going to invert it. So it's only impacting the bird. I'm going to increase the vibrancy because I want this bird to have lots and lots of color. Uh, and then we're going to saturate the bird just a touch. And now we can go to the red and I want it to be a little bit of a darker red. We'll pull up the range so that way the bird gets selected a little bit more. And we'll saturate that because I, I really want him to pop. And we'll pull it more towards the magenta here. So turning off this adjustment and turning it back on, you can see we're adding in more uh, vibrancy, saturation, and making red a little bit more prominent in this bird. So we'll even boost that range up a little bit more and really richen that red by darkening. Uh, and we'll even pull some of the oranges over to red and darken those. Now he's really a dark red cardinal. And he pops out just a little bit more. Now, the last step that I'm gonna take here is I'm going to add a black and white filter. And I'm going to copy or paste this mask again. And you can see it gives a color pop. Now, I don't want it to be that intense of a color pop uh, for the bird. So I'm just going to pull down on the opacity slider until I see just the right amount of color coming back into the image, uh, but keeping the bird from being um, overpowered by all these distractions. I'm just trying to mute all of those colors. So you can see that there's a lot of vibrancy and uh, information going on around in the image. When I check this off, then that all goes away. So now I'm going to add in my favorite adjustment, which is a vignette. If you've been watching, this is just something that I do. Uh, and I'm going to put the vignette right over the bird's eye. 
I am going to pull this in, make it even smaller, and maybe pull it away from the eye. We'll do something like that. And now everything is darker, but I don't want it that, that dark, right? I want you to focus on the bird and not see too much of what's going on out here. So one of the other things that I'll add in uh, with this vignette is a structure removal. So that way it is less sharp and uh, you know, just make things a little bit more uh, out of focus around the outside. Now you can also do this if I were to copy this mask come back to effects we can add in a lens blur and a lens blur is really helpful in a circle or a situation like this because and we'll just paste that in because it blurs everything else around here and if I go and I can even bring this in a little bit more on my subject so that way the blur falls off a little bit better so we'll do something like that and now if we do a before and after with the lens blur you can see it just mutes all of this nonsense that's going on around the bird and lets you really just focus in on him. And that's all we're trying to do. Bring the information of the bird uh, into the image and that's it. So to get caught up with the rest of the quick edits, click the playlist on the left side of the screen. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks is best for you, click the video on the right side of the screen. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.